All right, what's up everybody? Coach Trevor here. So today in this video, we're gonna go over caustic lunges. Um, and in the caustic lunges, typically, if someone is brand new, I want them to learn the split squat, the reverse lunge, and any modification that they need to address, you know, going off of that, once they're building off that, uh, then they can jump into the side lunges, right? Um, if typically when people are brand new, they lack a buttload of hip mobility and even ankle mobility. So I'm gonna address those first and then build upon what it should actually look like. So just to teach the movement, I'll actually have people put their hand on their hips and I want them to hinge back first, right? So they need to address the hinge. So hinge back first and then just shift into the side and then pushing off. I've had people jump into this when they're cold and they've actually pulled an adductor right in here, okay? Or something in their groin. Um, and it takes a long time to recover from that. So it's important that you address what their hip mobility looks like, what their ankle mobility looks like, um, and making sure they're not jumping into a cold and they're not dropping it like it's hot, right? They're actually controlling themselves as they're going down. So on this one, I really enjoy or I approve that the hips should be loaded first, so you're gonna get a hinge going and then drive the knee out. And it's this one's more of like a hinge, right? A lateral hinge, but that teaches people the movement. It teaches them to keep their feet flat and it teaches them to keep the weight either in the midfoot and the heel when they're loading to this side. Then over time, I'm gonna have them put their hands up like this and we're gonna actually try to do the full range where their hips go back knees coming out like this, knees pointing towards the pinky toe, foot is staying flat, and then they're gonna push off. Same thing, then they're gonna shift to the other side, right? So if you need to wind up your base, right, sometimes the base needs to be adjusted, hip back, draw the knee out towards the pinky toe, and I'm gripping here, right? This foot can stay flat if you want, but for me, you're able to go deeper by picking those heels up, you have a little bit of rotation out, that's fine, and come right back up. So when you're doing this, or when you're coaching people, it's super common that their knees are always caving in, right? So they have like that valgus knee. Focus on driving it out, that's gonna get their glute more. And then also when they're pushing off, same thing. This doesn't come out like that. Um, another thing, people are too aggressive on this, so it's almost like turning into like a, a modified like forward lunge. Uh, so make sure you're addressing that. Feet are flat, toes are flat, and then make sure the foot doesn't shift forward on the ball of their feet, right? So the weight's in the heel, feet are staying flat on that portion. The side that's shifting, the toes can come up, right? That's for more mobility. Um, it just depends on what your goal is for that person. But as long as they don't have pain, don't have any issues, you don't have to modify, just start slowly building them up with that.